hello everyone welcome to wifi learn in this video we can see some mesh current problems i have already done some mesh current analysis problems i'll put link in the description box below or in the i card to check it that link also okay let's move on to the problem for the network shown below obtain the mesh currents this is a network of three meshes so the matrix could be formed for three cross three matrix by using kvl equations so first i'll represent the value of a resistance in the symmetric matrix i'll write the symmetric resistance matrix values meshes it has three meshes so it has three cross three matrix and has nine elements so the first elements r11 is equal to 6 plus 5 is 11 ohms it is a self resistance of the first mesh r12 is a resistance which is common to first mesh and the second mesh first mesh and second mesh common resistance is 5 ohms check out the current direction it is flowing from top to bottom it is flowing i2 is flowing from bottom to top so opposite in direction so minus 5 ohms r13 is a resistance which is common to first mesh and the third mesh there is no resistance common to those meshes so it is 0 ohms so resistance is a symmetric matrix so r21 would be equal to minus 5 ohms r31 would be equal to 0 now the self resistance of the second mesh is 5 plus 2 23 23 plus 27 ohms r23 is a resistance which is common to second mesh and the third mesh second mesh third mesh common value is 4 check out the current direction it is flowing from top to bottom it is flowing from bottom to top opposite in direction so minus 4 ohms r32 is also minus 4 ohms r33 r33 is a self resistance value of the third mesh see here it is a 0 ohms so don't add it assume it is there is no resistance has been connected here so 4 plus 4 is 8 ohms so the matrix could be formed by kvl equations for three meshes 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 0 27 minus 4 minus 4 and 8 by using ohms law i1 i2 i3 and the voltage source is connected only for the first mesh of 50 volt check whether it is driving the i1 current the current is leaving the positive terminal and entering the negative terminal which is in the conventional current direction only so this source drives the i1 value so 50 there is no sources for the other terminals so 50 0 0 sorry find the value of del del is the expansion of the normal symmetric resistance matrix if you expand this by normal expansion laplace expansion 11 will get the value as the value of del is 2000 del 1 is removing the symmetric matrix first column and replacing by voltage source 50 0 0 minus 5 27 minus 4 0 minus 4 and 8 i'll get the value as 50 into 27 into 8 minus of minus plus 16 your value of del 1 is 10000 i1 is equal to del 1 by del del 1 is 10,000 divided by 2,000 which is equal to 5 ampere i1 is equal to 5 ampere now i2 i2 is equal to del 2 divided by del del 2 can be found by removing the second column matrix and replacing that by voltage source 11 minus 5 50 0 0 0 minus 4 and 8 divided by 2000 if you expand this you will get as 50 into minus 40 2000 divided by 2000 which is equal to 1 ampere a value of i3 is equal to del 3 divided by del del 3 could be formed by removing the last column and replacing by the voltage column matrix this minus 5 27 and 4 50 0 0 divided by 2000 expand this by column 15 to minus 20 divided by 2000 1000 divided by 2000 value of the current is 0.5 ampere i3 value of i1 is 5 ampere value of i2 is 1 ampere and value of i3 is 0.5 ampere substitute the value of these currents in the kvl equation of any one of the meshes and check the value of the current is correct or not okay let's move on to the next problem 
we find the determinants for the mesh currents i1 i2 i3 they are asking us to find the determinant so determinant is easy because it is three meshes it has three cross three determinant with nine elements so r11 is the self resistance of the first mesh the current i1 flowing through the resistance of 9 and 4 so the resistance present the self resistance of the first mesh is 13 r12 is the resistance which is common to first mesh and the second mesh check whether the current is flowing in same direction or opposite direction both are in opposite direction the, here the current is flowing from top to bottom here the current is flowing from bottom to top so minus 13 ohms matrix is a symmetric matrix so r21 is also minus 13 ohms r21 is also minus 13 ohms r22 is the self resistance of the sorry, second mesh the resistance present in the second mesh is 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 4 is 19 ohms r23 is a common resistance of second and the third mesh 6 ohms is a common resistance which is which has opposite current direction so minus 6 ohms so r32 is also minus 6 ohms r33 is self resistance of the third meshes so 3 9 9 plus 15 ohms so the determinant is formed very easily by using this method so 13 minus 13 0 here r13 is the resistance common to first and the last mesh there is no common resistance so it is 0 is 13 0 19 minus 6 minus 6 and 15 here according to kvl and ohms law the resistance is multiplied by the currents i1 i2 i3 which is equal to the voltage source voltage is 36 is a source that drives the first mesh alone 36 there is no voltage source present in second and third meshes and and the value of the voltage is zero now find the value of the del del value is equal to expanding this symmetric matrix 13 into 19 into 15 minus of minus plus so 36 minus 13 into minus 13 into 15 minus 0 the value of del is equal to 702 i1 can be formed by del 1 divided by del your del 1 value is 36 0 0 minus 13 19 minus 6 0 minus 6 15 divided by 702 expanding this matrix through a column first column 36 into 19 into 15 minus of minus 36 other values of 0 divided by 702 the value of i1 is equal to 12.77 i2 is formed by del 2 and del you check it out it is a similar procedure as the first problem i2 is similar to that of last problem only the method is so the value of i2 is 10 ampere value of i2 is 10 ampere i3 can also be found by del 3 divided by del the del can be represented by removing the last problem and replacing with the voltage column source 13 minus 13 0 minus 13 19 minus 6 36 0 0 divided by 702 your del value so i3 is can be written by 2 4 ampere check the value of i1 i2 i3 in any one of the kvl equation i will substitute in first kvl equation first kvl equation is formed by 13 i1 minus 13 i2 is equal to 36 your i1 value is 12.77 so 13 into 12.77 minus 13 into i2 value is 10 ampere i will get the value as 166 minus 130 get 36 so 36 equal to 36 hence proved your value of i1 and i2 are correct i hope you understood the concept of mesh current analysis if you have any doubt please leave it in the comment section these problems are referred from the sham series publications third fourth and fifth editions please check it out the book is available in the online and if you like the video please like share and subscribe to wifi learn thanks for watching the video